Hello and welcome back and today it's a very short video, a quick update on PlayStation 5 storage. I'm sure a number of you have heard but just in case there has been a new development on the side of storing your PS5 games. Unfortunately not the upgradable storage that a number of us are sitting kind of watching our updates waiting for but at least a small token gesture from Sony to help people be able to store more games and this is the ability to move games over to the PlayStation 5 external storage over USB. We are now able to move PlayStation 5 games over to external USB storage, but it has a few caveats straight off the bat if you do want to take advantage of this. First and foremost, it's worth highlighting you will need to have the very latest version of the uh, system software. To know which one you've got, go into the settings as you can see here on screen. Go into the system option, from there go into the console information and boom. You can see their system information up to date, but there is the version there on screen. If you don't have that version or higher, you're not going to be able to do this. Now, obviously, the, the other big issue here is playing the games. Because, as mentioned, the storage available on the PlayStation 5 after system software is a little over 600 gig or so. So... A lot of modern games take up a lot of space, and in the case of the PlayStation 5, moving them to external storage is kind of a short-term solution. So, if you do want to move a game to PlayStation 5 storage, it's worth highlighting that if you've already got the game installed on your internal software, like you can see here with the new Oddworld um, Soulstorm game, you just need to press the Start button, and then from there, scroll down, as mentioned, to the Move to USB External Storage, or Extended Storage, and then select the games you want to move. So in my case, I want to move Oddworld, but I can move other games too, and the available storage is listed there. There's other, obviously, I've got games installed on that external storage too, but for now, let's go ahead and move Oddworld over to the external storage, that USB drive. Now, what are the advantages of this? Well, first and foremost, it is much, much faster to move a game from the internal storage to the external storage than it is to download the game all over again when you delete it to make space. But it is worth remembering that you're not going to be able to play the games off of the external storage. If a game is on the USB extended storage drive, you are going to have to move it back onto the PlayStation 5 in order to play it. Now, the reason for this is, put simply, the no external drive connected via USB 3 is quick enough. And I am talking about USB 3.1 Gen 1 and USB 3.2 Gen 1 and USB 3.2 Gen 2. All of those, be they 5 gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second, it's worth remembering that that's still significantly less than the 4.4, I believe, to nearly 9 gigabits per second of that internal SSD. So what you are doing now, again, is just to move the storage media away onto the external drive so you can recall it later. Think of this as more of an archive rather than as a means to increase your storage. We're still waiting on the external storage and being able to use that M2 NVMe bay. And once again, for now, I think you should hold off buying any kind of M2 NVMe storage until full confirmation arrives on the ability to use that feature. But as you can see there on screen, this game moving over to external storage over USB is so, so much quicker than if you were trying to download this game later. And I'm going to show you now how to move a game back over to the internal storage. So as you can see there, now Oddworld Soulstorm, the icon there on screen has now got the kind of cylindrical tower icon next to the plus there that shows that the game is located on internal storage. So if we go ahead and try and play the game, it's not able to play it because it's on the extended storage. So for now, we now have to move that game back over. To do this, we have to go into the settings menu at the top and from there, Go into storage, then go into USB extended storage, go into the games and apps, head over to the PS5 games, and now we can move that PS5 game back. Remember, this is 14.75 gigabytes of data there. So again, rounding up um, um, around about 14,000 megabytes there. So 
If we move that over, we can go ahead and move the game right the way back into the console storage. And much like you saw before, now it's moving the game from the external drive and back onto that super fast SSD. Bear in mind, even though the super fast SSD inside is ridiculously fast, an external drive is acting as the bottleneck, that external drive there. So this will take pretty much the same time it took before to move the drive over. I'm not gonna make you guys have to sit here and watch this happen. Just take my word for it. You move the, the game back over and it will appear on your USB extended storage. I mean, off your USB extended storage, sorry about that. Now, we are still waiting on the activation of that storage bay and Sony is saying that this is gonna happen at some point in summer 2021. And of course you should subscribe because we will be bench testing a huge number of NVMe M2 PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. Not just the current generation that are out there like the Fire Cuda um, uh, 520 or the Samsung 980 Pro or uh, the SN850. We will be looking at the next generation of SSDs that take advantage of the new E18 Physion controller which was announced and hopefully an implementation soon if hardware shortages don't prevent it. And of course, we'll be bench testing all of those SSDs, testing their performance and testing their compatibility. So once again, subscribe if you want to know about though, all those videos as they drop. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Click like if you found this video helpful. I know this is a simple procedure, but it's always good to see it being done. And once again, subscribe to know about those updates on external, uh, on the upgraded internal storage. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.